A new world speed record is set in Japan. A magnetically levitated train has tested at a speed of 361 miles per hour. The streetcar train was tested for stability and durability. Officials say the bullet train will run at only 310 miles an hour when it goes into operation. These are the fastest passenger trains on Earth. The Shinkansen or bullet train could go 350 kilometers an hour. It's about twice as fast as a passenger train in North America. But they're still not fast enough for the people who run them. We are, at present, trying to implement a railway system that can achieve a speed of 500 kilometers an hour. And this is how they're planning to do it. At this test track a few hours from Tokyo, engineers are testing a new kind of train, one that floats on thin air and uses magnets for power. It's called maglev, magnetic levitation. And Japan is one of the few countries trying to apply the technology to passenger rail. Our end goal is to come up with a railway system which is reliable, stable and comfortable like the present Shinkansen system. Here's how it works. There are rotating magnets built into the side of the train. There's also a row of magnets on the side of the track. The magnets on the train are aligned so that they're constantly being pulled towards the magnets that attract them and pushed away from magnets that repel them. The train does have wheels, but once it hits 140 kilometers an hour, the wheels are retracted, just like the wheels on an airplane after takeoff. The train is then suspended in midair by the magnets, meaning there is no friction to slow it down. The magnetic force is all that's needed to propel it down this test track at jaw-dropping speeds. That was 500 kilometers an hour, about as fast as a plane. But the maglev can go faster than that. Here's what happened in 2003 when engineers tried to hit top speed. This test got them into the Guinness Book of World Records when their train hit 581 kilometers an hour. But engineers didn't build this train and this track to break records. They're trying to build a train that's fast, safe, and economical enough to be used as a passenger train. The main issues we are now facing include improving durability, developing technology to reduce costs, and finally we are trying to improve the aerodynamics of the train. So every day engineers board this train armed with sophisticated instruments. They measure vibration the noise, critical issues if they're going to put passengers on the train and run it through crowded communities. They're also trying to improve the train's acceleration. Right now it takes a minute and a half to go from zero to 500 kilometers an hour. A commuter train has to run under all kinds of conditions too. So the engineers conduct tests in the rain, they run it at night, they run it by itself, and they run stability tests to see what happens when two trains traveling at 500 kilometers an hour pass each other. We were able to achieve a total speed of 1,026 kilometers an hour. That's the combined speed of the two passing trains. All in all, Japan Rail has put about half a million kilometers on their test trains. But right now, the most important number is cost. The idea is to build a maglev line between Tokyo and Osaka, distance of about 500 kilometers. Maglev would be twice as fast as the bullet train, but at a price. It costs twice as much to build a maglev line than a regular bullet train line. Which means running a maglev between Tokyo and Osaka would cost a whopping $100 billion. So engineers are looking at ways of using fewer magnetic panels, making those magnets cheaper, finding more economical ways to install them. Engineers have overcome all the technological challenges of getting this train up to speed. But unless they can bring down its cost, it may never pick up a single passenger. Japan Rail will study this technology until the end of 2005, and then the government will have to decide if it wants to pay such a high price for this train's high speed.